This video will show you how to make a clay mug. First, roll two long, medium-sized coils. They should be about the thickness of your finger. Then, create a spiral coil that fits inside the circle on your paper. Start placing the coils slightly on top of each other. You still want to see the coil beneath the, this one that you're adding, just ever so slightly. Then turn it over and smooth out the coils on the bottom. You're dragging the clay to fill in the cracks. Then use your pencil to write your name and your class on the bottom. Add another coil and smooth the coils together wherever they are joined. You're not pinching, you're just pushing the clay back and forth in order to join those. Then continue building up. Do not build out. I'm cutting off a small piece because it was too thin. Then I'll just join on where it's the same thickness. Again, if yours keeps going out, then you will not be making a mug. It will turn out more like a plate. So make sure that you're going up. I keep smoothing out the coils as I add them. And then I'll smooth out the last coil. Finally, for the very top of your coil mug, you want to have a small, thin coil, about the thickness of your pencil. This will go slightly on the inside of the last coil. Again, I'll smooth it out. You can smooth out little cracks wherever you see them. Do not push and pull the other coils together. Now it's time for the handle. So we're going to roll a thick coil, flatten it, then cut diagonal lines on the edges. Make sure it's how you want it, and then curl it around your finger. Now we're going to slip and score it into place. If you do not slip and score, the handle will break off of your pot during its firing or while it's drying. So we get the area wet where we are joining the two together, even on our coil pot. Then we will press the handle so that it's really secured onto your coil mug. Smooth out any areas where it's attached to each other. Do not try to pick up your mug by the handle or else it will break off. And next time we will glaze.